This video demonstrates the installation of a timeout automatic washing machine timer valve retrofit. To retrofit a current single lever valve to a timeout, start by turning off the water supply leading to the valve. Turn the valve off and disconnect the hoses. You may want to have a bucket or some rags ready to catch any leftover water. Loosen and remove the bolts on top of the current valve and remove the valve from the shanks. Remove any old o-rings or seals that are on the current shanks. Place the new washers supplied with the timeout onto the existing shanks. Remove the gray cover from the timeout unit. Place the timeout valve body onto the shanks and bolt on. Be sure that the washers underneath the bolt heads are in place before tightening. The longer bolts supplied with your timeout may be needed for certain configurations. Snap the gray cover onto the timeout unit. Reattach the washing machine supply lines and push on the gray timeout handle. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks. To use your new timeout unit, load your washing machine, push the timeout lever over to your desired time, and push start on your washing machine.